You're watching Influence Me Wednesday with Morale All Things Hair. Hello, this is Morello Kane with Morel on Things Hair Dot Media, the Hair Debate, and we are here with Miss Jasmine Wells. How are you today? I'm doing well. How are you? Thanks for having me. Oh, absolutely, Miss Howard, as they would say. Oh my God, it's been when I tell you just seeing you grow over the years, um, being here from Atlanta, but now tell us about where you at right now. So, like she said, I go to Howard University. I'm going into my second year I'm oh, a sophomore right. now, so I'm very excited about that. You know, everything's really new and really different. You know, yes. I'm just looking forward to continue growing in my journey through college and through life. I tell you, um, the reason why we are actually, you know, Spotlight and Jasmine, and again, it's the college edition, and so having a lot of you know, the students are going back or have gone back, okay, um, at this time period. Mm -hmm. And so being new in college, you know, I know you're a sophomore, but being new. And so what are some things that you can share? I know, you know, going in from high school here to your first year, that is so different. Okay, you're in a different state, you know. And so one of the things that I absolutely love you know um seeing you here as you have grown up is being true to yourself you know being um one loving yourself and then um being different loving to be different now how is that going away to college so it's a really big adjustment, you know, going from high school, having the same group of friends for a few years and being in a similar environment with similar people. And then going to college, you go, no, go to, go into this HBCU when there's different types of black people, you know, there isn't just like a set persona or perspective yes. or whatever. And you know, you're very tempted to like try to be like other people because you yes. see how cool and how different everyone is. But I mean, you know, just being raised in an environment where I knew like I was good enough and that I was made to be good enough and that being me is, you know, enough. Yeah. I didn't have to conform to what other people thought I should be or what I thought people wanted me to be, you know, being strong in who I was and who I was raised to be, you know. Absolutely. So, yeah. Oh, I absolutely love that. And so now, you know, it's your first year, you know, um, you've seen a hair care provider, you're on a regular basis. And so now going into this environment where you have no one, your hair care provider's not there, your mother's not there. And so, you know, and, and then you're at a school where so many different entities and how people are wearing their hair. And so how do you stay, you know, how, what's your middle ground level with that? You know, when it comes to taking care of your hair, like, you know, do you conform to what you see other people they're doing, you know, or I see now you have braids. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, oh, your protect okay, her protective style. <laughs> and so, and so how is that, you know, um, wearing braids? and whatnot in um, at HBCU. So when I got there, I did not know what to do. I had yes. I had in crochets when I got there and I was like, I don't know where I go from here because <laughs> I don't do hair. So I kind of had to learn. I had to teach myself. Yes. And my roommate, she was really good at doing hair. So, you know, I kind of like looked at her and I was like, okay, I could kind of do this. I'll let me try this out. And you know, I'm very like low maintenance with my hair. So I don't really try to like bother it too much. You know, yes. I'll do the stuff you tell me to do, you know, yes. oil it, keep washing it like, every couple weeks or so. But other than that, you know, I really had to experiment, try to figure out what worked for me, especially with my schedule. Cause I didn't have time to just Absolutely. sit around for hours and try to do my hair. So, you know, whatever I could fit into my time schedule, that's that's how my hair looked, you know, wigs, you know, yes. braids, that when I had time to do the braids, I learned how to do that, you know, just leave my hair natural because a lot of girls just wear their hair natural, they oh, wear it I out. Oh, I love that. And, you know, that inspired me to be more confident in my little afro, you know? Okay, so, okay, yeah, I so love I that. So now, so, okay, you say wigs. So a lot of people wear wigs there. Mm -hmm. You know, I know that the climate is different. And so right. was it hard to conform to that? Because, you know, being here from the South and you going up for the North. And so mm -hmm. your hair, you know, it, that could take your hair through some changes. Yeah, that city wind is something serious. <laughs> it's nothing to be played with. Yes. Um, so 
wearing wigs, I felt like I was protecting my hair from the harsh elements, you know, because I know how it's gonna be up there. That DC water is a little rough too. Okay. So just, you know, trying to protect it as much as I could, knowing like, you know, still keeping it moisturized, but not trying to have it out as much. And like, like I said, I'm low maintenance with my hair, so not doing too much to it, not stressing it out. That was really how I found like a common ground with that. Absolutely, and so now, let me just give you a little nugget. Okay, for the harsh water that is there, the steel, water okay is is where you want to be at all right and so you could just use that warming up um six minutes it will be great warm up you could use that the shampoo rinse out condition and everything and so when i tell you now your style i'm just just, just go ahead and just show them what that takes <laughs> You know, save love, money, live better. That's my motto. Come on out with you that. You know, I cut, I cut some shorts. I cut denim. You know, you have to be creative. That's really where yes. your creativity shines, and especially at Howard. You know, like that's what you see a lot of kids who like have these really cool pieces of clothing. You're like, oh, who did that? And you're like, I made this. You know, yeah. So you just have to be creative. It's not about how much money you have or what expensive that. clothes you buy. If you yes. you make the outfit, so you gotta Absolutely. wear whatever you got. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta make it work. So yeah. That's what you guys see why I love her the way I do when I tell you I, I you are an inspiration you know um, just again witnessing you grow up being true to yourself not conforming you know love me to be different and it's okay what word can you say to a young girl out there that's just like okay you know um, I'm, I'm new to middle school I'm new to high school I, I'm also new to college you know and so um, I don't look like everybody else, you know, I don't talk like, I don't dress like everybody else. So how can I be comfortable in my own skin? Um, I would just say you really can't compare yourself to other people. I know yes. it's really tempting because it's taken me a long time to get where I am and I'm still growing. So. Yes. You just, you really can't look around at what other people are doing. You have to know you're going on your own journey. Mm -hmm. And you know, for me, you know, I know my source. I know, I you know, I, I have a source. You, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I pray for this, okay? I know, I know who I am because yes. of that and because I was raised in that way. Yes. But you know, just really understanding that you are different and you are unique and we're all just people. We're all people. So we all have something different that we can bring to the table. We all have different gifts yes. and we all, all have things that make us special so you have to find what makes you special and know that that's enough and you don't have to look at everybody else and be like oh what are they doing what are they doing you know yes. you, you can't be focused on that because you're never gonna be happy you're always gonna find someone that's smarter prettier whatever you have to be secure in you so that you look at that and you can celebrate other people Come on now you know you celebrate that. your individuality yes. you celebrate what makes you special that's when yes. you know you're really secure in yourself uh, yeah. miss jasmine wells I tell you, it has been an honor. Um, work it because now, not only is she smart, beautiful, but then she's also a performer. Where can they find, you know, your material and to get more information about you? So you can find me on every social media outlet, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, at Jasmine Alasia, Jasmine like the flower, J-A-S-M-I-N-E, Alasia, A-L-E-J-A-H, and I'm working on getting some real music, you know, my own music together, uh, yes, so you can yes, expect yes, that yes, coming yes. soon. Yes, yes, yes. Soon. <clears throat> and let me just say, we will be bringing her back to um, behind, beauty behind, uh, behind the beauty experience yes 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 because she has so much more to pour into um other young ladies and so it's been my pleasure okay again miss wells absolutely uh, my name is morello kane and it's the hair debate morello all things hair dot media all right you can find me uh, on facebook or instagram at the hair debate all right so again, um, stay tuned. Uh, we will be bringing her to the platform um, again and possibly to like showcase you singing or whatnot, you know, so that would be fabulous. But um, stay tuned. Um, the Hair Debate, where we come to debate, debunk, and discover all things hair.